Sign and Times, episode 51, this week from an undisclosed famous walking slash biking trail. So, for the people that love the snaps, business card of Casey Carlisle, whom I love, who happens to be facing Tasha Simone for the NWA World Women's title, would be the new World Women's Champion of the NWA. I think she might be. From the fine people over at EQ Pro Wrestling, that's EQ Pro Wrestling, from the fine people over at Sidekick Comics. So, like, if you need a comic book of, say, like, Transformers from 1985, issue number 13, I think they can do that for you. Dave Dynasty could probably get that like that. And my Facebook, my form sharing, my YouTube, which you're probably watching right this second. Otherwise, this is really awkward. And my Twitter, where you can follow me. Unlike some people that delete their accounts and don't follow me. I don't know who that could be, but it could be that broad right there. Could well be. Be deleting better accounts like it's something to do. This person did not. She did not. That's why I love her. She still follows me. Much like I now follow Ryan Howe, Mr. Howe T. So, this week I suffered a serious injury to my finger. That one. It was injured. But it's going to be alright. I think. Worst case, I just cut it off, I guess. Don't really need that part. Not that important. So, last week, QT read a poem that was highly controversial to the point I'm getting emails and death threats and angry stares direct all hatred towards one QT votes. He wrote the thing. I don't care what he says. He wrote it and sent it. I simply relayed the message. So if you're a member of a tag team that's been like BCW Tag Team Champions in the past, maybe your name rhymes with Floyd, send all hatred towards one QT votes. If you want a German suplex him into like panes of glass that are on fire, attached to like a bed of barbed wire, that's your prerogative. I'm not going to stop you. But don't be looking at me, it wasn't my fault. Not my fault whatsoever. QT votes. Poem reader. Writer of highly flammable material, apparently, because he inflamed the heat extraordinarily so. So, this coming week, on Sunday, we got Psycho Sailor coming to Turnbuck. Psycho Sailor, veteran in this business, veteran of our armed forces. It's going to be a great show. QT Volk's looking forward to it. So am I. I'm sure D is as well. Now on Monday, I'm kind of open that day, don't really have a whole lot going on. Tuesday, the lounge, where apparently Stevie Jonak is going to be talking Golden Corral. Apparently, she took someone that possibly deleted their Twitter account to the Golden Corral. We're going to discuss that in detail. Graphic, graphic detail. Wednesday, I don't really have much going on. Not too much. Thursday, E2 Pro Wrestling going to be back on the radio. Last week they had Chief Atacula Kula in his first interview as world champion at AIWF. So a huge scoop for EQ Radio. We're going to see what they have coming up this week, getting ready for Blackest Night. So make sure you check that out. On Friday next week, Savage Podge Styles coming to the show. If he doesn't forget, if he remembers to call in, if he doesn't cancel on me last second, if he doesn't call in at the wrong time, Sabotage, 6 p.m. your time. Your time. 6 p.m. You 
grab your phone when you call into the show. 917-889-9105. Do your interview. Don't forget. Be awkward if you did. We'd probably bury you for an hour. Just throwing that out there. So, to review, Sunday we got Psycho Sailor coming to the show. It's going to be a huge show. Psycho Sailor taking part in Mean Mike Miller's last ever match last week. Monday, and kind of open. Tuesday, DeLounge, Stevie Jonak going to be describing exactly what transpired at that Golden Corral. Because I fear there were some freaky things going on in Kentucky when they were out there. Freaky things. They may not be welcome at the Golden Corral anymore. I don't know. We're going to get into that and see what exactly went down. I don't know if toll looking happened at the Golden Corral or not, or if that was confined to hotels, but I'm going to investigate and call Ricky Ruckus and have him research for me. That's up his alley, let's be fair. Right up Ruckus' alley. Wednesday, not really doing very much. Thursday, EQ Pro Wrestling's radio show. Crystal and Josh are going to be back, I'm sure. Maybe they'll have a surprise guest or two or three. Friday. Sabotage style should he not forget. A little sabotage. Write it down. Put it in your phone. Have your kids remind you. Don't forget it. And also, I'd be remiss. Be remiss. On... 24th of this month. That date would be... I'm not really sure which day it is. I, I believe it's Wednesday. Not only is it my Uncle Don's birthday. First birthday of Minnie Beast Barnett. Minnie Beast Barnett, one year old, already been in training. He invented the You Can't See Me Cross Body Block. Phenomenal move. Invented it. He wasn't even six months old at the time. Now, year old, apparently some broad made him cupcakes, took my shine from the cookies that were sent, spent all day making cookies, but hey, let's make the cupcakes a star, apparently. Why not? Sure. Yes, so. Alright, so that's pretty much what's going on. And I'd also be remiss if I didn't tell you this week. Side Sidekick Comics, Powerhouse Brewery, EQ Pro Wrestling, sponsored by the great state of Wyoming. Wyoming, including the town of Orland, where the mayor is Craig Lumbar. Lumbar. So, thanks for the great state of Wyoming for watching, for hundreds of them do. But with that, episode 51.